welcome back to my channel um please don't forget to like please don't forget to comment please don't forget to subscribe to those that are there have please share um yeah okay guys um so part two um title of the video is um dating as a victim of rape and not having a father um guys i feel like a lot of us will relate because um in as much as we won't relate in if you are not a victim of rape then you we will relate in terms of not having a father figure in our lives né? how much that has impacted how our dating life um because whether we like it or not um it's um umdo or sindiswa enga kange ati engage in um um dating your gelando is very rare we are born a rare lot of my and natike sehle lwa into bana ke we 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 got saved in, in a later stage of our lives se se senzekile izinto you know we um and but here we are now um we are new creatures you know um so yeah okay guys um i was mm, let me say that um so i'm not too sure where to begin because i don't want to confuse myself and you as the listeners okay but i will say that i started in daba yo yo kwazba okay what is a boy um young elendo and how this goes um when i re when i reached my um trying to know guys pre don't adolescent stage or whatever okay when i started my period guys yeah when i i was 12 years old when i started my period but i didn't know, even know about okay what dating is young elendo because tina basically in a boarding school i i lived in a boarding school and about okay in a boarding house even you know and it was very christian based okay hence i only got to know what sex was um um enjoy your boyfriends at not even boyfriends can go like what sex was yona at the age of 13 years when i i had i had been pregnant impregnated by my father to say um so that's when i got to know what all of this means and then get guys so i remember even when i started my period i didn't even know what was going on with me that on the okay lento and he has no meter to team i i remember uh lento oh mama no she used to say that we are born again if you can work at bamba then you don't meet up on your meter is like the worst thing you don't even know what it is um as long as it's like a little okay what it is what this really means so yeah get guys and then 2013 i find out that my dad was raping me you know all these years and who okay wow and you're going to do something like towards the end of the year i'm i soon to and then i go live with my mom and my stepdad sihlala e a butterworth and we sihlala a look shin a cuba and i can that's where things started um i i i realized but oh okay actually there's a guy down the street that i feel like i like there's a guy at school that i like you know what figure those feelings and people were starting to notice me because now the kula mabele and i'm very um full figured like the like kundine mpundu yonke lanto and boys were starting to notice me about what's the class in india figure what's the school and i am going through this or i am going through this bar the ambi court cases at this age that i am and that is already doing a lot of things a lot that is already creating a lot of disruption in my life and then now there's this on nature has to take its course we are born and you learn the way to it's a mess and then can go go um it's already what this thing about okay when now you, you you are being told but okay when are you are dating who when are you dating who when are you dating to and and who who and now this boy after school there was a bus that we used to take to school hey this guy 
okwela na me basi na ibo what is this supposed to mean ngoku touching me and guys i was so traumatized at that time upon i had a dvendi mbonu tata nje eskolwen and i would freak out and my mom would have to come as on the to calm me down yeah bona i have spoken about this in a previous video he she had to come and calm me down so and then people would talk and would become the topic the following day but oh nanka kelo one and we had to go back to election again and there was that election kadlalwa but even as into zidlalwa are not so innocent because noba kudlalwa undize ngoku ikiyaphatha phathwa na type of thing and i would freak out and people started distancing themselves from me oba yo ha ka no not not her yeah bon and i literally became a mess because i didn't understand but why can't why can't i be like my best friend who is able to do as near is in the why can't i be like them and just you know eat my youth you know i wanted to be like other people but it was so difficult and then at the same time i was dealing with the fact that i did not have a father the last time we spoke no dada was yo i don't even remember i think the last time i ever got to see him was when eyo banjwa ngala mini eyo banjwa ngayo ephuma namapolisa um because i had to help the um police go to his house so that was the last time i ever saw him and that was the last time I, we ever spoke but we didn't speak that day but i think after that i think i don't remember back as i said tetana so the relationship with sobabi ni ave yaphela and i got to realize that okay so this guy zonke zizinto wayendenzela zona wayendenzela because efuna uquma lento ebeyenza they were not genuine um so my trust towards men just vanished i didn't trust them i didn't i didn't feel safe around them i i was even scared of my uncles i i just couldn't handle it ukufuku step my step father wa mekhaya i go to my room i sleep nando ngulo mtu ulala and we just go and yalala so and then if ndihambile ndiyakhawuleza ndibuye because andi call right so it was just it was just a mess because i was messed up in so many ways guys but i grew i ndanda kula nda funda guys i don't know how i passed my grade 8 nda funda and then um my mom saw that and call uh, uh, my mental health is not uh, and call right and she moved me from that school and um we moved to uh, 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 east london um when i got to east london i lived with my uncle and my aunt um but my uncle didn't stay full time with us um waye waye hamba abane buyenge weekends but funny enough once i like once i lived with him i was like oh okay no he's there to protect me because i remembered him for from a whole day in but oh okay these people are actually here to protect me you know they my uncles and they didn't do this to me but kunzi my guys but ndakwazi uhlala nomalume we stayed and get guys none of my family knew what i was going through you know um they just knew but okay uzizo is suffering from ptsd umane siya kwaqiqa umane sithinge sithinge but we didn't attend it ekhaya xa kufika ba okay si attenda kanjanje ngoku how do we deal with this as a family so yayiphelela kumqha and my room and whatever so ndihlale roomini um and then there was this guy that i i dated going on a condo kept and move to this complex i dated this guy yo guys it was so difficult fika apa um i wanted it what i wanted from this guy i wanted to to feel safe i wanted to feel safe and he didn't give me that um i wanted to 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 you know like yonke into i was comparing this person to my dad and guys it didn't even last two days no relationship because i i needed the attention that i did not get from my dad i needed it from him and obviously umdana bantu was not going to give me that it was not going to it was not his responsibility and i was like no guys i actually <laughs> i can't do this nda even in the like kwa se kwa se skolweni um it was just so difficult like that dijani so guys kwa pale school this guy now i was forced to date hey guys like it was so difficult and this guy started ke ngokwalapha eskolweni 
dating other girls and i just felt i just gave up i was like i guys men are just the same we are fananwa they do the 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 same thing i there's no one up there like no you know i i came to that conclusion i mean i said but you know what men like in the grand and then life continued man and then the following year if you have read my book that i met this guy and he 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 gave me the qualities that i needed that i that the things that i i i needed not those those things but you tick a box but okay check he he loves me no 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 i'm not they were different but i want someone who's going to protect me from the outside world i want someone who is going to love me genuinely as their own child you know yeah you want to disclaimer not just love me as their lover or their girlfriend or their partner as their own child a red flag number one um red flag number two someone who's going to protect me from the outside world that was also it i wanted i wanted someone who's going to be possessive of me i wanted someone also also bang about okay zizo you are mine because that is what my dad used to do he used to like go around telling people about this is my firstborn daughter and i love her and you know all of those things i wanted someone who was going to be possessive of me and those were the red flags in me in searching in what i want in a man and those things messed up the entire relationship because i wanted the things that are ideal in a relationship are not the things that i wanted i wanted someone who was going to provide for me as a father you know um yongin doyam needed to say that as a father as a father as a father as a father not to bana as the person that they are but ke wanyamezela guys umfana wabantu wanyamezela and our relationship carried on for two more years up until guys he got someone else pregnant oh yeah got someone else pregnant and i was like i Okay, 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 okay. Ah, okay, yeah, that's a story for another day. So I was like, yo, okay, guys, life is over, you know, and it was just a mess, man. It was just a mess of of of, of my dating relationships and you and Galanto. And then, guys, I decided just just don't invest week because whenever i got to a, a relationship it became toxic and i knew that i was the toxic one i i was angry i demanded things from these men that they could not give me i demanded these men to be superheroes of my life which they could not give me i wanted to i wanted to be provided for by these men which they could not give me i wanted i expected a lot you know from these men which they couldn't give me and okay apa i am the one who is giving 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 because so i was like my vessel is like a man dating game my vessel is like so by the time the dibana no bao i had like okay i had already decided and then when i was like god like I, I i when when i had forgiven my father i i became i i came to a stage where i had to forgive my father as you would know that i forget i forgave my father but then i was like i also needed to change my character oba god like the character now i do not like it please and desire when i was six years old five four three two one i do not know um but in the man, can I just be a loving person? Can I be a kind person? Can I be a caring person? Can I stop being this person that I am because of the anger that I have towards a certain individual of my life? Can I just um declare can I just be another person? And God gave me a scripture i don't remember what it is but it's in corinthians um lena it love is kind love is don't on love is don't don't and he gave me the wisdom of replacing the word love with my name so and the city love is kind zizo is kind zizo is not quick to anger zizo is you know young elando and that is how i became the person that i am today and that about 
I know exactly who I want to be. I see the the characters of people at TV. I see the characters of people around me. Ditelu Tata, allow me to take certain um, pieces of characteristics from people and put them into my life. Upon this, I'll decide, but oh, okay. This certain character that I like, Kubani, I'm taking it and in the Faga Ebomin Bam because I do not like the person that I am. Apo Aba and the corner. I am I was also very pretentious, you know, like I would pretend as if I like something up on my tandy. I wanted to be outspoken. I wanted to be outspoken about my feelings and say that, okay, indo and jinakanji nakanji and tandi. And that's when I and then that's when God worked in me. What okay, if this is what you want, this is what I will give you. And I became the person that I am today, you know. I am very loving, I am very kind, I am caring, I am all of those things because I allowed God to change my toxic character. A and by my past and by the resentment and the anger that I felt towards a certain individual because I feel like even though Utadam, maybe if he hadn't raped me but because of his character I know that he was going to be an absent father you know and I would need him at a certain stage in my life and yeah like I got to realize but no man, this person was doing all the good things because he wanted to do what he was doing. He wanted to carry on with Elinyala Alenzayo. It was not out of affection and of loving me as his firstborn daughter, as he as he said to people, you know. It was just Ebe because Ufunukuma Lendo So a character yake messed up my character. And we and I got to understand Ubana um what what sex was you know um how spiritual sex is in 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 connecting people and in as much as i forgave my father yad lula into it i was raped but it is sex at Bebelen is very spiritual and it connects it connects his spirits you know yonke lando and the i had his spirit is um i i had his because he he basically raped me and that and I had to cleanse myself. I had to cleanse my, that I asked God about you. Okay, so this is what sex is. And whether we like it, no city here, rape, no by Indoni, but it is sex and this is what it involves. It involves um feelings, the emotions, it involves spirituality, it involves physical touch and Lord cleanse me from this person. Cleanse me from all the people that I have a sexual history with. And 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 spreading the spirit of you know young Elendo that my dad has caused a starting point, Ipayana, you know, and I had to pray to God, Babao do this and this and this and that and god helped me and i think i i look at my life i look at myself when i do a self introspection i'm like okay it's way what do you want to change about your life what do you want to change about your character well anyway guys it's obvious every day people change we evolve every day but my character i always say that our character one nika yonago 2017 when both of you both of us sat down and decided but we are forgiving this person we are changing our character we are cleansing ourselves we are doing this you are cleansing me you are changing my character keep that character for me keep me being uzizo that is loving keep uzizo being this person that i am because i don't want to get into a marriage or a relationship and demand in their toxic traits and is tata from a person keep all the good things i want all the good things to myself Unzima, guys i don't want to like Unzima. it is hard dating um as a person who does not have a father because even now you think about okay who's gonna walk me down the aisle who is going to do this and this but god guys i would say to god is a provider you know in my journey there's a lot of men that i can count that i can say that i know that i can go to that person and he will become a father to me like the, I know there's a lot of men out there who are in my corner. I know there is a lot of men who would who would stand for me. But Lamdana Uzizo is my daughter, and God has provided me with those type of dads in my life. Watch, mana, this is 
like they don't have to even provide financially for me but i know that i can give a call to utatus bani i need a prayer lendo. i need into they would stand up for me and say that Mdanam, i'm here i'm available for you you know and i know that i do so ding who will walk me down the aisle and this would ding into a ten and i know i talk to those men every day and they're like I'm done, I'm, don't worry you know and whenever they i do something for i do something for myself i do something they stand up for me and give me a standing ovation and say that is my child you know and that is all that we need that is all that we need in as much as it is difficult it is so difficult guys being um being um a, being without a father you know um it is one of the things that okay even if you see omnia um to umbon you wish that you had a dad and you if they love you and everything cherish them cherish them because but they are sitting in jail for raping us you know so yeah guys that i feel like but excuse me that is that that is what i have been feeling this week yeah um this week actually past two weeks that is what i've been feeling but i excuse me i needed to share that um just how difficult it was um when i say that i lost my youth um i mean it i mean it i mean it i mean it i lost it but i'm back at it now guys like I am back and it's good um, and it's it's nice it is so good like it's like okay i'm doing a like okay guys hear me hear me i'm not just you know but it's 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 going so well guys i am content with myself i am content upon the coil i am content with with um with everything that has happened in my life like in the Kwesa state so bana no it's good like it's okay like everything is okay everything will work out together for the good you know i'm at that stage in my life where in the Gonda, it is okay god is there god will provide i can't this idea there's nothing i'm gonna like um i'm not gonna lack like fathers i'm not gonna lack like a father i mean you know i'm not gonna lack like a father figure in my life so it's 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 going it, it is it is going quite well kulula guys um i mean but one day at a time one day at a time we are taking it one day at a time shame i wish i wish our dads just knew the kind of pain that they put us through every single day but i will not let him have control over me because you've you've you've, you've taken the anger the resentment that you have towards this person but how do i move on from this obviously you're not forgetting but how do you move on from it how do you learn to live with the situation that you are in now so yeah well guys that is it for this week i'll see you again next week guys um with a new um topic and we'll discuss it and yeah thank you so much please don't forget to like please don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to share once again i will see you guys on the flip side thank you